Yeah. All right, back on bush builds, we're going to be putting the starter cylinder into my Bronco. Um, last time the Bronco ended up running with the starter on, it overheated this, so the circuit became open. And uh, as soon as I went to go put my battery back in and I hooked up my connections, I was trying to start up the truck uh, with the ignition off and the, and the key switch off. So what we brought, we brought a, uh, a remote starter switch so we'll just be able to do it off the thing. Uh, so once we hook this up, we shouldn't have any problems. We need a half inch quarter inch socket, 11 30 seconds quarter inch socket, and a 5 16 quarter inch socket, and then obviously a ratchet. So we're gonna hook this up and hopefully the truck doesn't try to kill us again. So on these older trucks, they have starter solenoids on the fender wells instead of on the starter itself just makes it a little bit easier to access everything. If you've been having problems with your truck frying starters and starter solenoids, you're better off just getting the lifetime warranty one for the extra two, three bucks. Uh, that's, what, that's the route we ended up going with just because if it burns it up again, we'll just hand it back to them and tell them to replace it. So, the ones on the fender well are going to be the 11 30 seconds, I believe. Nope, I lied. They're going to be the 5 16 Snug all this up. So we labeled our wires here. This is my positive battery cable. This one goes to this end of the starter solenoid and the top part of the starter solenoid goes to the wire that we labeled starter. So we'll hook this end up first. I don't think the orientation matters because they're not labeled, but try to do it the way it was and see what happens. We're eventually going to clean up all these wires and redo them, but just for time's sake, we're going to try to get it running so we can move it out of the garage and move it back and forth. We got other projects we got to pull in. And this wires I labeled two starters so I knew where it came from. these wires that were on top of here.
And it has this little ground wire going to the back over here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's down by my hand. At least it fell in my pocket. Put that ground wire back on. Come here. And that, that grounds is 11.30 seconds. And we're going to hook it up to the battery. This, in theory, should fix our issue with it trying to run. We'll find out. Hook up the negative. Now oh, that's good. It's not sparking at me this time. And then what we have with that starter cylinder, or the typically you'd hook up your uh, your starter wire to here, but mine's damaged, so it's causing it to try to run. What we're gonna do, we're gonna just do a test. We don't have the ignition on, so it won't run. But we hit this button, it should try to crank over the motor. Make sure nothing's in the way. Hmm. Helps if I got a connection, probably.